Albert Einstein's brain was stolen after his death in 1955, sparking a controversial series of studies. Upon his passing, Dr. Thomas Stoltz Harvey, the pathologist at Princeton Hospital, conducted an autopsy and removed Einstein's brain for examination. Harvey believed that studying the brain could provide insights into Einstein's extraordinary intellect. Over the years, Harvey sectioned the brain into numerous pieces and sent them to various researchers across the United States and beyond. Some studies focused on on the structure of Einstein's brain, revealing that certain areas, particularly those associated with mathematical and spatial reasoning, were unusually developed. One notable finding was the size of the corpus callosum, the bundle of nerves connecting the two hemispheres of the brain. Studies suggested it was thicker than average, potentially allowing for enhanced communication between brain hemispheres. However, the ethics of Harvey's actions have been debated. Einstein had not given explicit permission for his brain to be removed, leading to questions about 